We've been getting a lot of questions about what DU is doing and has done relative to the oil spill. I know that you all have seen by now Dale Hall's comments along those lines. We have contacted uh, state and federal wildlife agencies, states of uh, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and Florida, as well as the director of the Fish and Wildlife Service and the director in Region 4 of the Fish and Wildlife Service in Atlanta. Uh, we've offered to help in any way that we can. We feel that our most likely role will be after this settles down and we understand the impacts of the oil on the actual habitat. There may well be a role for lots of wetland restoration and we are prepared to jump in and do that. That's what we do the best. Uh, in terms of other things we've been doing, uh, there are some government affairs activities that are ongoing in Washington, D.C. that our government affairs staff are working on. Uh, we're trying to keep our our staff and volunteers as up to date as we can on the situation. Uh, that's been a challenge in and of itself because this is such a dynamic situation and changes so quickly. Uh, nonetheless, we're trying to do our best along those lines. And we've also had some discussions with some of the state and federal uh, waterfowl biologists relative to things we might do this winter to monitor impacts, uh, particularly relative to some of the diving ducks that are using offshore habitats. Uh, so I've been talking to some of the state biologists and some of the federal biologists along those lines as well. So we got a lot of things going. As I said, it's a very dynamic situation and we'll do our best to stay on top of it on behalf of the ducks.